Jessa's Dressage Explain Part 14. Woo! <laughs> Well, that was a very, very exciting welcome. And I've got to say, guys, deservably so. I am so grateful for all the, all the support you guys have been giving me. The things that I had in my mind to do over the next 10 years seem to be happening over the next 10 minutes, which is super exciting. So thank you for your support. Thank you for helping me grow this channel so much. And I hope that I can keep doing you guys proud and keep helping you as well. make a square halt. Guys, don't we all want to know that? I'm going to tell you right now, it's not as, there's not some secret weapon in terms of you've got to be the most amazing rider in the world. It's a system. It's a really easy system that anyone can apply really at any level that you are that it might not guarantee a square hole but it'll get you a bloody hell closer than you are right now so let's get into it so first things first guys how do we normally do a halt normally you need a square halt what in the center line and in a test okay so let me show you what you think about come with me you're coming around the corner and I'm not going to go all the way to X because I'm way not fit enough for that. <laughs> but you come around the corner and then we come onto the center line and we, we've got to halt somewhere up here, okay? But what happens is we come around the corner here and at this point in time, all we're thinking about is I've got to stop up there. I've got to stop in 30 meters time. That's not what you should be thinking. The first thing you should be thinking as you come onto the center line is are at least my legs on the train track. So your halt is in 30 meters. Right here you should be thinking are my, all my legs on my, my, training, my training tracks, yeah? So even Glenn, put some training tracks here, put my hands on it so they can visualize it. Are my legs on the training tracks? Or am I already like this? Or am I already like this? Or am I already like this? If I'm already like that or like this while I'm going, how on earth am I going to stop like this? It's not possible, is it? And we're all going, duh. Big head explosion. That's not, actually that simple. That's not actually that difficult, is it? But we don't think about that. So we come onto the center line. We know there's a hole coming in 30 meters. First of all, hey, are all my legs right? You back up, Toby. So then as you're walking along or trotting along or cantering along, your whole job is just, oh, wait, come on, no, bring this quarters in. Oh, no, bring that in. Oh, look, maybe go a bit more forward to try and make myself straighter. Just try to make yourself straighter. Trying to make sure that all four legs are at least in line with each other. That you could, if someone's sitting in front of you, that you can only see two legs because the back legs are right behind them. That's step one. Whoa. Do that and you've probably got a 50% chance, better chance of getting a square halt already. Next step is how do we go from nice little count up centre line. That's never going to work, is it? How do we tell our horse that the halt is coming? What we do is we try to make smaller steps as small as you can make them to where the horse tolerates it. So, so some horses can almost canter on the spot and then you can halt. Other horses won't have that strength yet, but you go small enough to where they start to lose their momentum and then that's the moment to say stop. Okay? But it's not a halt. It's a make everything smaller. Now please stop moving your legs. Versus a... So what does that look like in real life? I'm cantering up the center line, cantering up the center line. Now my halt's coming up. I want to make, oh, wait. Right, let's try and do this without losing my rhythm, guys. I'm trotting up the center line. Then I make my trot smaller and smaller and smaller. 
and smaller and smaller. Now I feel my horse go, I can't be any smaller than this. I might walk and then you go, cool, don't walk, just stop. Or this is what you have been doing. Trotting. Stop. Or trotting. Smaller trotting. And that's what you do. It's not a halt. It's not a seat belt. It's not a rah! It is just making the tempo smaller and smaller and smaller, the pace smaller and smaller and smaller, making sure that your front legs and your hind legs are in line way back there. And in the right opportune moment, saying, relax. That's how you get a square hold. Hope that helped. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Don't forget to bond with your horses. Don't forget to love your horses. Don't forget to have loads of fun. And guys, don't forget to subscribe.